A year ago today, Joe Cox was murdered by a fascist. We will always remember Joe for her contribution to society. But you know, you know we saw only a couple of weeks ago in this supposed Tommy Robertson march. The fascists are on the march again. Let's make this absolutely clear. The Labour Party is an anti-fascist force within society. We will, not, we will not stand aside while the right and the fascists organise to separate and divide our community. We will stand in solidarity, as always, against the fascists. This week was another, another, another sad anniversary. This morning, this morning I went on the march for Grenfell Tower. And I, as on the silent march last week and every month, we met the families. And we met those heroes, the courageous heroes of the FBU who ran, ran into that fire to save lives. And the immense anger that we feel, that in the richest borough, in the fifth richest country of the world, they were more interested, the politicians locally, in saving money than saving lives. So I said this morning, on behalf of the Labour Party, to the Grenfell residents, some of whom haven't even been housed yet, that we will stand with them until they, well, until they gain truth and justice from this inquiry. But I also said this, I also said this, we will not tolerate in our capital city, 5,000 people sleeping rough. We will not tolerate in our capital city the homelessness crisis, the overcrowding crisis, the housing crisis that we now have. And when we go into government, we will build those million homes, half a million council homes again. And you know, And you know, I'm glad the magic numbers were playing here today. Because when the, we put the numbers together, it will be magical what we can do for society. We will transform it. Because I'll find the magic money tree and it will be the rich and the corporations paying their taxes again. But it's also, it's also the anniversary of what you did 12 months ago, all of you. Can you remember? They, they wrote us off. They were 24 points ahead in the polls, the Tories. They were going to wipe us out. And on that night, we demonstrated what a mass movement can do with a manifesto that people could believe in. A manifesto, yes, that will ensure we fund our NHS, that we end the privatisation, that we build the homes, we restore trade union rights, and we become a force for peace in the world once again. We have a dream of transforming our society of creating a society which is so much radically fairer, radically more democratic, radically more equal. Yes, it's a prosperous economy that we'll build that's economically and environmentally sustainable. But the difference between us and them is that prosperity will be shared by everybody. And there's a word. And there's a word for that. There's a word for that. It's socialism that we aspire to.
I'm going to what I'm going to introduce shortly someone who played his own minor role in this whole exercise. But before that, we're just going to watch a video.